up guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing this all new 2022 BMW M340i. Alright, before we start, just want to give a huge thank you to Dan and the rest of the management and staff here at Furman BMW in Palm Harbor, Florida for making this review possible. These guys are awesome and their dealership's beautiful, some really impressive cars. So if you're in the Tampa area looking for a new car, I would definitely suggest checking these guys out and ask for Dan. So for those of you guys who don't know, the 3 Series has been in BMW's lineup since 1975. That's when the first generation was released. Fast forward to 1986, for the second generation, BMW ended up releasing the M3, and that really took the world by storm. It's been an iconic sports sedan really since then. Uh, but this isn't the M3, this is the M340i. Fast forward to 2018, BMW ended up releasing the seventh generation 3 Series, and here for 2022, it's still gonna be the, se the seventh generation 3 Series, so we are gonna be due for an update pretty soon but we are gonna have a couple updates here. And of course, we're gonna go over all the updates. Uh, as far as the power plant here, we are gonna have BMW's three liter straight six twin power turbo. Um, it's gonna have a little bit of a hybrid system too. It's gonna be called the mild hybrid. We'll check that out on the window sticker. Uh, but altogether, we're gonna be making around 382 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. Enough to get this 3,800 pound sedan to 60 in around four seconds. So a truly, truly fast sports sedan. This car is absolutely no joke. But as far as exterior styling, let's jump right in. So up front for the Shadowline package, which we're gonna have here for this 2022 M340i, we're gonna have black headlight housing, which looks absolutely fantastic with these daytime running strips. As far as the headlights themselves, you can check out the projector bulbs. They do swivel. I like the brushed aluminum on the outside too. It really makes them look very high quality. But there you have it, pretty basic overall. They're gonna be your high and low beam projector, LED headlights. Up top, you're gonna have your turn signal. That's also gonna be an LED strip. But pretty basic overall. You can check out this little BMW LED little nameplate. But as far as this paint, you're gonna have the sunset orange metallic, really beautiful paint color. Probably the best paint color you can get for this car. It really, really pops, especially in this Florida sun. But as far as the grill, you can check it out. We are gonna have active shutters. They are opened right now because we do have this vehicle turned on, but um, they could also close at any moment and make this grill look like a really nice flat black design. But as far as the grill itself, uh, you're just gonna have these little triangle shapes over here. They look pretty cool. Uh, gloss black, but you're gonna have some piano black up top. But as far as airflow, you're gonna have more than enough airflow for this radiator and intercooler. Down here, you have additional airflow with more shutters too. But anyway, you can see inside of this grill, you're gonna have really, really stiff cross supports. It's gonna definitely aid with the overall handling in this sports sedan. You're gonna have parking sensors up front too. This vehicle is gonna have full 360 sensing. It's not gonna have an overhead 360 camera, but it's gonna be basically that. It's just as good when it comes to this overall sensing system. But continuing down here, of course, we're gonna have a functional air curtain over here. It's gonna help your brakes and aerodynamics, but continuing alongside over here, we can check out this wheel and tire setup. So here you're gonna have your BMW M style individual rims, really beautiful design. I love the spokes, the cross spokes in the middle. As far as the brake caliper, you're gonna have a very large M four piston brake caliper. As far as these 19 inch rims, they're gonna be wrapped in 22540 R19 Pirelli Cinturado P7 all season tires. So no, not the stickiest setup, especially with 225s for the front and rear. This vehicle is gonna have a square setup. So for 382 horsepower, you may want some wider tires in the rear than 225s, but of course that's an option. But for the base standard package over here, this is what we get. But I really do love these rims overall, especially with those brakes. It definitely looks really cool. And this low slung sedan definitely has a really, really nice stance with these low profile tires. But continuing along, I really like those body lines too. You guys can check out your carbon fiber mirror. That's gonna be an option on this car. As far as the mirror itself, you can check it out. You're gonna have blind spot monitoring and it does fill up the frame very well. But as far as the window trim, everything's gonna be black. I like the blacked out B pillars too. Definitely sits really nice with this uh, sunset orange color and these really dark tints. This vehicle definitely has a very sporty and aggressive look to it. We are gonna have smart access uh, for the driver, front passenger, and the rear passenger, so also impressive. But as we mentioned, it's just gonna be the same uh, tire setup in the rear. It's gonna be 22540 R19s. Um, I guess that's a negative for a sports sedan, but it is gonna be starting around 55,000 bucks. So you're gonna be cutting costs wherever you can. Uh, everything's gonna be optional. You can get the optional wide tires. You can get the M Performance package and whatnot. But continuing to the rear, you can check out your LED taillights and they look really nice. They're lit up right now because we currently have this vehicle started up. You got your reverse lights and turn signals up top and a little bit of reflectors. The exhaust tips, you can check them out. The tips themselves, they're just gonna be mounted to the frame and the exhaust itself is gonna be sitting in the middle of the opening. Uh, and we're not gonna have the end performance exhaust in this vehicle, but it still sounds really, really nice. Uh, we'll take a step back. You guys can check out the diffuser. That's really nice black diffuser. Great contrast to the sunset orange paint color. Uh, more parking sensors in the rear and you got your M340i little badge back here. But 
We'll take a step back. You guys can check out the rear styling one last time and let's rev it up a little bit so you guys can hear how she sounds. All right, guys, so that was, of course, the sound of the three liter twin power turbo straight six sold by BMW and the delivery truck just stopped by. You guys got to check it out. We got the M4 competition sitting right here. Maybe we should get the chance to review that in the upcoming weeks uh, with the really nice 750 sitting up top. But as far as this car over here, um, of course, that was the sound of the three liter straight six. Let's check it out right out front. And um, I love how BMW, you can just pull the latch twice and it opens it up for you. You don't have to play with the latch on the inside, but here you have it. Here's your uh, M Performance, three, three liter straight six. Uh, pretty straightforward up top. Um, um, surprisingly, we're not gonna have any visible strut tower braces like you would with the X3 M40i that we reviewed in this channel, but still more than supportive enough, especially with these cross supports up front in front of your radiator. But here you have it. Of course, this engine's gonna make 382 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. Really impressive numbers, enough to get this thing to 60 around four seconds. So really, really fast car. And it sounded really good, as you heard with the exhaust clips. But that's about it. We can shut this hood over here, take a step back. You guys can check out the front styling one last time. Super impressive. But let's go ahead and check out the interior on this 2022 BMW M340i. All right, guys, stepping inside this 2022 BMW M340i. So up top, you're gonna have some soft touch uh, trim for the upper part of the door panel to be expected. But underneath that, you're gonna have really nice dark black leather contrast stitched trim. Uh, down here, not the softest armrest. I would definitely like it for, be, for it to be a little bit softer. Uh, a little bit of aluminum trim down here too. Uh, power one touch for all four passengers. The door handle is gonna be this really nice aluminum trim. It's gonna be very well weighted. Memory seats right here, two person memory seats. Really nice if you share this vehicle. Uh, lock and unlock right here. Uh, power folding mirrors and you can adjust the mirrors four way right here. Uh, you got your light controls right here. High beams, auto, auto headlights of course. You can turn off your parking sensors too and your hood release down there. But that's about it over here. As far as this um, steering wheel, it's not gonna be a power tilt and telescoping, unfortunately, uh, but it's still tilt and telescopes just fine. Um, as far as the steering wheel itself, it's gonna be your absolutely massive M steering wheel, super thick, one of the thicker steering wheels in the business. Really, really fat 10 and two bolstering notch, making the 10 and two very nice for your hands. Nine and three feels absolutely fantastic. Really good thumb slot for your fingers and it caves in very well for your hands. Uh, the paddle shifters are gonna be a beautiful aluminum material very satisfying to click. As far as the turn signals, also very, very high quality turn signals. I know most of you guys don't think it's a big deal, but it's gonna be something you're gonna be pressing in this vehicle very frequently. So it's nice to have the high quality materials where it counts. But anyway, you're gonna have rain sensing wipers, of course, too. Uh, and you're gonna have a heated steering wheel. So the heated steering wheel button's also on the steering wheel. Um, definitely a thumbs up for BMW for that because many manufacturers put the heated steering wheel button over here. So it's nice to have it where it's most convenient. But anyway, here you got your steering wheel controls. You got your cruise control settings right here, uh, your media settings right here, voice commands, and you can adjust the volume and skip the songs right here. But as far as the display, you got your traditional BMW display. You can't really adjust it too much. It kind of adjusts a little bit based on the drive modes. We're currently in sport, but you got your 160 mile an hour speedometer. Your tack right here goes to about 6,500. Uh, you can see how much gas you have left right over here. Uh, the time, you can see what town you're in. Uh, you can see the temperature outside as well, as well as your internals. But what I like most about this display is check it out. We have a map. So you can see the map at all times on your display. So that's also super, super cool. But over here, you got this aluminum trim that wraps all around your uh, air vents. It goes all throughout the interior. You got some wood grain trim over here. That's a great touch too. Uh, soft touch padded dashboard. That's also nice with some contrast stitching right here. But as far as the infotainment system over here, of course, you got your standard iDrive, so it's not going to be too different compared to most iDrive systems. But to check out the map. It's going to be one of the most responsive systems in the business, like barely any lag at all. It's basically like an iPhone, super impressive system. Um, if you don't like the touchscreen, you can also use this dial right here. Uh, you got your media uh, communication settings. You got your internet, home, map, and nav. And of course, you just pull it side to side. You can turn this little dial over here. You got your back and your options right here and of course you can also just click it wherever you would like but we'll press this home button go back home um you can check out your communication settings right here uh you got your contacts telephone mobile devices bmw assist and you can check out your messages over here as well but to go home you can check out your navigation of course we already did that uh, you can check out your car settings so as far as the vehicle settings let's check it out so overall settings over here you can see 
Um, you can check out your door, vehicle access, interior lighting, climate control, key button settings, and you can turn your BMW M340i through your infotainment screen as well. But over, over here, you can check out your profiles. You can change the owner's manual vehicle status. So here you can check out the tire pressure. You can see the engine oil life, uh, check the control messages and the required services. So right now we're okay. This vehicle only has what, like six miles on it. So I think we should be okay, but we'll go home. Nevertheless, that's about it for this infotainment setup. Beneath that, you got your automatic climate control, of course, heated seats, no cooled seats, but of course that is an option. And you got your presets down here. But down here, you got this also really nice wood trim right here. You simply press this button and it opens up. Uh, no wireless charger, unfortunately, but not a very big deal. That's also an option. Uh, you got your USB port right here, two cup holders and a 12 volt right here. Not a cigarette outlet, but it's a pretty nice high quality cover nevertheless behind that we have our gear selector so old school bmw you press this button right here pull it back all the way we're in drive push it forward all the way you're in reverse uh, you press the button pull it back half a notch we're in neutral and we can just press this button back here and we're in park so the complaint that i always have with the bmws is even when you put it in park we're still looking at the backup camera you have to press the home button for it to go home it doesn't automatically do that when you put it in park but behind that, you're gonna have your traction control button right here. You turn off your parking sensors right here, engine start, stop, and here's your drive selector. So you got Sport Comfort and Eco Pro. Um, as far as the differences, we'll check it out once we take this car for a brief little drive. Uh, electronic parking brake right here with auto hold. Um, so pretty cool overall. If I didn't mention, you also pull it back into drive, smack it to the left. Now here you can have some other manual controls if you don't wanna use your paddle shifters. But over here, you pull it back to upshift, push it forward to downshift, so the correct way, but we'll just press that button and put it into park. But we're gonna still have that aluminum trim carrying on the outside with some really nice grain wood as well. As far as the center console, really soft padded leather. You're gonna have some contrast stitching as well. We can open it up, you can check it out. Not the most space, but pretty spacious. I'd say you probably fit around four cans in this direction. And you may be able to stack another set of four up top. But in here, we're also gonna have the USB port and nice light so you can see what you're doing at night. But we'll shut this thing up. We can check out the glove box real quick see what we got once you find the latch but it is damp it's gonna be lined with felt too super high quality definitely nice place to spend time and now that i notice you do have a little bit of illumination down here too it's gonna to be much more noticeable at night and maybe even in the back seat but it is still really nice but let's check out this window sticker real quick see if i may have missed anything so yes we have our 2022 m340i sedan base price is going to be under fifty-five thousand bucks but we are going to have quite a few options in this vehicle starting with the sunset orange metallic color that's gonna be 550 and it looks absolutely beautiful i would definitely recommend getting this color uh, for 1500 bucks you get this black vernasa leather it's super comfortable uh, but a little bit pricey for not too much of a difference compared to the standard uh, base seats but you have here you have the driver's assistance package for 700 bucks this is a great value you get your driving assistance uh, active blind spot detection lane departure warning uh, for 400 bucks you get the shadow line package that gives you the black mirror caps and shadow and lights extended shadow line trim uh, 1600 bucks gets you the premium package so that gives you the heated steering wheel heated front seats heads up display gesture control um, and as far as the overall options we are going to have a few so remote start is going to run you about 300 bucks um, you're going to pay around 600 bucks for these 19 inch m rims uh, so pretty good value overall uh, you can check it out over here uh, for 875 we get this harman and Kardon sound system and this sounds absolutely fantastic this thing really is an impressive sound system beneath that you can check out your 930 dollars carbon fiber mirror caps uh, so those look really nice too and not too expensive either for carbon fiber uh, the rear diffuser is going to be an additional 1100 bucks uh, the wheel locks going to be 155 first aid kit and destination charge sitting around a thousand bucks and you're still going to be sitting under sixty four thousand and a half dollars so not the priciest vehicle considering how well equipped it really is you can check out the standard equipment right here as far as fuel economy you're going to average 26 miles per gallon 23 city and 32 highway so extremely fuel efficient really impressive overall but that's about it we can put this thing away up top you guys can check out your frameless mirror it's going to be really massive you have a very good view of your rear windshield but we can pop the sunroof up right here and it's a massive sunroof it takes up an extremely large amount of the roof um, it doesn't open all the way but not a big deal you guys can check out the view out here very nice day today in palm harbor florida but we could shut this thing up right here and we'll close the shade too because i personally actually we'll leave the shade open we'll give you guys a nice view over the back seat and speaking of the back seat because we're just about done with the front let's check it out all right guys so stepping in the back seat on the 2022 m340i up top of course we're going to still have those super soft 
touch materials for the upper part of the door panel. That leather trim continues with the contrast stitching. It looks super nice. The armrest, again, not the softest, but soft enough. You can have power one touch for the rear passengers as well. As far as the door handle, it's gonna be a really nicely weighted aluminum and the speaker's gonna be right here. Harmon and Carton speaker, the sound system is fantastic. Aluminum trim on the outside and even the bottom part of the door frame, it's not gonna be a hard touch. It's gonna be a rubberized soft material. Not lined with felt, wouldn't be expected. But anyway, the cup holder here, absolutely massive. You could probably fit a sandwich in there as well. But anyway, taking a step inside this M340i, up top this headrest is unbelievably soft. You wouldn't believe how soft this headrest is. Uh, the seats, the padding goes all the way out to the frame, so it's gonna feel very couch-like. Uh, as far as the legroom, let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm six feet tall, sitting behind my seat settings, and as you guys can see, I have a very impressive amount of space. I have at least three, four inches of overall knee space, and my feet have plenty of space to move around. Um, you are gonna have a third zone climate control. That's also super, super impressive with this 340i trim uh, vents right here you got the third zone climate with two usb c's back here uh, we are going to have dual map pockets behind the driver and the front passenger uh, you guys can check out this little center cubby right here uh, press this button these cup holders do pop out um, as far as the cup holders are not rubberized but they'll still fit the cups perfectly fine uh, the armrest itself very well padded very impressive overall but we can shut this thing up that's about it for the back seat. You can probably have a better view of the illumination right here, that little red stripe, but that's better for the back seat. Let's check out the trunk real quick and then take this car out for a quick little drive and wrap it up. All right, guys, so to get into this trunk, you simply pull this little latch right here and the trunk does pop up for you. But these hinges, they are gonna have these little covers over here. So although this opening is extremely massive, uh, you're not gonna be able to fit the most stuff because of these little cargo covers. But that is nice because you're gonna be able to really use up all the space, you don't have to worry about these hinges crushing your cargo. Um, right here on the outside, you are gonna have an additional little area for storage and there is a net here too. So you can fit some serious stuff back there too. Same thing on this side. This side is gonna be kind of equipped with all your safety equipment and your license plates and whatnot. And you got your floor mats right here. But hopefully you guys can get a good sense on the overall space. Uh, the seats do fall down 40, 40, 20. So you can probably fit, uh, I would say between a 50 and 60 inch TV back here with no issues. Uh, but anyway, we can take a little step, shut this trunk and we'll take a step back. You guys can check out the rear styling one last time. And I don't know if you can hear that exhaust, but it sounds really good. I can only imagine what it would sound like with the M performance. I'll give you guys one more rev and then we'll take this car out for a drive. All right, guys, now that we've just about seen everything we need to see with the inside and outside of this all-new 2022 BMW M340i, let's take it out for a drive. And we're going to start off in comfort mode and transition to the sport and see what the differences are. And I just want to let you guys know in advance that I can't take this car off of the dealership property, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to try to get the most I possibly can out of this little drive, try to let you guys know as much as I possibly can. But again, don't be mad at me that I'm not going to go as in-depth as possible with this drive but I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I notice is in comfort mode, the steering is significantly lighter than it is in sport. And it makes sense, but there's a lot of manufacturers that don't really make a whole big of a difference between their modes. And still the steering is super direct. There's really not any play in the steering wheel. Um, I can't really speak on body roll. We're not gonna be hitting the turns fast enough to really speak on that. But with these cross supports in front of the intercooler um, and radiator, it's definitely gonna be a very fun car to drive. And we know zero to 60 in four seconds, that's definitely no joke. But even in comfort mode, the steering feels very direct, very uh, drivable in a daily condition. But right here, we'll just hit the turn a little bit quick. Yeah, there's the zero body roll at all. And it picks up speed really quickly. Even in comfort mode, there's barely any gas. And it puts you in the seat and it starts to go. But anyway, let's try it out in sport real quick. See if there's any overall differences. But okay, let's step out right here. I mean, the exhaust definitely gets a little bit louder and the steering also gets significantly heavier. Uh, significantly heavier. It's definitely one of the biggest differences um, in from comfort to sports that I've driven. Pretty similar to what you would get with um, X3 M40i, but definitely a bigger difference than what you would get in the standard X4 that we reviewed as well as the standard 530i that we reviewed. This is definitely a much nicer, heavier steering in sport, but you immediately see that the revs are definitely going to be higher in sport. So you may lose your overdrive gears, but that's what individual mode is for. So this vehicle does have indiv individual mode. So what you can do is um, set up the exhaust how you like it. If you want the louder exhaust, you can set it for louder exhaust. If you want the transmission to be in comfort mode though, so if you want to have the eight speeds, if you want to have the smooth shifts, 
you can set that up in the individual mode as well. And the steering too, you can add the steering to it too. So if you want to have the comfort mode, um, comfort mode suspension, comfort mode transmission, but you want the sport steering and the sport exhaust, that's what individual mode is for. But we're not going to set that up, of course, once this vehicle is sold. Of course, the, end, the owner can obviously take care of all of that. But we'll take a step right here, try to give you guys a little bit of an acceleration run. We're not going to have a lot of space, but right here on the gas. Oh my gosh. Wow. This thing can just take off. It just puts you in the seat. And even with these 225 tires, it, it takes off with more grip than I have on my um, 2021 Camaro LT1 with the 255. Uh, Firehawk Indy 500. So this is a no joke sports sedan. That thing just put me in the seat. But that's about it, guys. We don't have to just keep going around in circles in this parking lot forever. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you got a good sense on this 2022 M340i. Uh, hopefully we can get a more in-depth test drive coming up soon. Uh, but for this review, that's about it. So huge thanks to Furman BMW for making this review possible. Really kind group of guys. Always help me out when it comes to reviews. So if you're in the Florida area looking for a new car, I would definitely suggest checking these guys out. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry that I couldn't get you guys more detailed of a test drive. But again, thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Um, it'll definitely help me out when it comes to getting more cars to review for you guys. Um, leave a like too. It helps me out the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if there's any cars that you'd like to see reviewed in this channel. And I'll definitely try to get those videos for you guys as soon as possible. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll do a quick little acceleration run. This thing just takes off. And I don't want to make too much noise, but wow, this is a serious performing car. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope all of you have a great day.